Hello and welcome to Banfield. We have gotten fully a month's worth of jaw-dropping headlines and details from the Gabby Petito Brian Laundry story, and all of it has unloaded in just the past hour. Cassie Laundry, Brian's own sister, whom the family's attorney essentially made out to be a liar just days ago, tonight came firing back from her very own front yard. But of everything we heard, and you are about to hear, in that impromptu 20-minute interview, the most shocking may be Cassie's answer to two simple questions. And it is the same answer. Are your parents involved in hiding Brian from authorities? I don't know. Did Brian kill Gabby? Again, I don't know. Not no, not never, no, it's not possible. No, that was not what she said. She said, I don't know. Let me get right to News Nation's Brian Enton to play this remarkable sound and break down what all of this means. He's out in front of the laundry home. I never expected to hear something like this. The laundry family has been the most quiet and secretive in so many of the criminal stories I've covered. And then out comes Cassie, Brian. Yeah, I'm still processing all of this, Ashley, because you mentioned it, really, this all came down within the last hour, hour and a half, and there are so many nuggets in the video you're about to hear that shed new light on all of this. We're just going to have to go through them all one by one. But first, before we get to it, I want to quickly walk you through how this all came down. Basically, you know the protesters that have been outside the house here every day. They were here this afternoon. They left and they went to Cassie's house and they started protesting in front of her house. And according to them, she got so annoyed with them being there that she decided she was going to walk right out onto the front lawn and just start talking to them for roughly 20 minutes or so and answering all of their questions. And then we were able to obtain that video, Ashley. Okay, well, I'm just being told that we have some fresh new uh, videotape into our control room from that interview. We've been turning it around as quickly as possible, Brian. Let me just ask my control room which uh, part of this we can air right now, because I know we've been spinning it quickly. And I know that also, Brian, as we do this, that you've been uh, playing excerpts of this video uh, throughout the evening on News Nation. Let me just go ahead and, and toss to the first one that we have. I haven't got any context of it at all. I can't, unfortunately, tell you what it is, but, but take a listen to this. When Gabby was missing, the parents uh, weren't even looking for her. They weren't even out looking for her. We don't even know what they knew. We can Do assume. you know that she was missing when they went to Fort DeSoto? No. no. You didn't have no clue 11, that she was missing? The detective that was working with Gabby's mom called me up while we were on vacation. We were in Orlando. And then I called her back because we were eating dinner and I told her everything she needs to know. We told them from day one that we were at Fort DeSoto with them on the 6th and that they came over here on the 1st. The police has known everything that's out there the whole time, from September 11th night on. That's when I became involved and I knew nothing before that. So, Brian, it's sort of hard to make out a lot of this. I don't know what part of the interview this comes from, but do you get the sense from this 20-minute conversation that she had that she has uh, given up on the silence and given up on the story that he's gone over to a, a swamp and, uh, you know, is just missing and not on the run? I think she's just frustrated, and that's why she came out. She gave a lot of I don't know answers. Do you know what your parents, what do your parents know? She said, uh, I don't know. But what was interesting there is she talked about when she saw Brian at the campground. She claims she didn't even know that Brian was going to be there. Uh, and, and you heard her just say, she also says that she didn't know where Gabby was, which we've been talking about this for weeks now, Ashley, um, wondering what was she thinking when Gabby wasn't there when her brother's fiance was suddenly missing? Okay, Brian, we have another one of these uh, short clips that's just rolling in. So we're going to all listen to it together and hear what it, hear what's on it at the same time. Take a look. My parents' lawyer really screwed me over by saying that he just well, stopped I saw by. the comment that he, he did made. not he... just stop by on the way home, and I was livid, and I'm not speaking to anybody. Yeah, no. I'm done because that put me in danger that made my kids find out this horrible way with questions yeah. we were waiting until there was some kind of closure so the kids were just sad instead of sad worried and now really scared of you guys 
So, Brian, if I'm not mistaken, she's now saying he did not just stop by my house on September 1st, the day the card reader saw that van coming back into Florida. What are we to make of that? Well, she's saying that she only thought her parents were going to stop by and that Brian was also there. But did you hear that, Ashley? She said, basically, my parents are screwing me over, which this is all so new to us. We didn't know for the last month whether to think this whole family was talking and sort of on the same page. But now we know there is division within the laundry family. I mean, she flat out said it. She says right now her parents in the house behind me uh, are screwing her over.